Good morning, everyone. I'm down here by Hopewell Creek, and you can hear behind me the water running and see the snow and the, the evergreen trees. And my topic today is Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, which says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. I'm also wearing my my new toque. It's the Water Ambassadors Canada toque that I received. And I think it's appropriate that I'm wearing it at such a time as this, because when we look at the water behind me, we realize that fast running water, especially over rocky soil and things like that, has a purifying quality to it, and it becomes safe to drink. Water Ambassadors Canada works with uh, people across Central and, and South America in particular, and, and in other places, to help bring villages and remote communities the pure water that they need, either by dr drilling wells or by putting in purification systems. And so if you haven't heard about them, then buttonhole Jeff Merriman uh, in our church sometime and say you'd like to know more about that. When Jesus says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God, I think what comes to my mind anyway is the purity that I see in young children. There's a sense of uh, pure curiosity that isn't laced with malice or with a sense of opportunism. It's just they're curious about anything and everything. And I think about the purity with which they accept people and they embrace people without making demands upon them. And I think that's what Jesus is talking about here when he says, blessed are the pure in heart. Because when we begin to see like a child, I think we begin to understand the kind of world that God sees. He sees a world that is filled with possibilities. He sees a world that is filled with opportunities to, to see love and joy and peace and reconciliation triumph over evil. And I think that what Jesus is saying here and reminding people as he talks on the Sermon on the Mount, I think what he's saying is, be the kind of people that are like children that understand that the kingdom of God is something joyful to be grasped onto and to be embraced, not to be fought against. And even the disciples, when they tried to shoo away some children who came to see Jesus, Jesus says to them, don't do that, let them come to me, because this is what the kingdom of heaven is made up of. It's made up of the child likeness. And that's what we try to emulate, and that's what he calls us to, to, to be like. So, as you go through this week, I pray that you would develop the eyes of a child to see the purity of the things around you, to understand the joy of just sitting by a stream and listening to the waters rolling over top of the rock, and to, to be someone who blesses God for the beauty of where we live, and the beauty of what He is trying to and, and desiring to bring about in this world that He has made. And let's be a part of helping it become all the more beautiful by the love that we show and the care that we give to those that we meet. God bless you, church. Pray for a great week for you. Bye-bye.